Hi, and welcome back to Coffee Corner. So, you've created an awesome video, and you post it on YouTube. But for some reason, you're not getting any clicks, you're not getting any views. Well, thumbnails are a perfect way to get over that first hurdle that people posting content face. It's clickability. And in this video, we're gonna give you some tips on how to create the most clickable thumbnail. So grab a coffee, press F for full screen mode, and enjoy. Thumbnails are one of the most overlooked aspects of video. Check out these two thumbnails, which would you click? Personally, I would rather click thumbnail B. Thumbnails are often the last thing you make, but it's the first thing a viewer sees. Therefore, they're a super important aspect of your video content on YouTube and in email and on your website. And that's because the first hurdle you face when it comes to video is getting people to click on it. Once they've clicked on it, it's really easy to keep them there. So don't make thumbnails just an afterthought, make it really a part of your video strategy. And we know you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover, but we all do it anyway. It's the same with thumbnails. They are exactly like book covers. They give you a little sneak peek of what content you can expect. So don't just grab a still frame from your, from your video, but instead go the extra mile, dust off those old Photoshop skills and create a thumbnail that really highlights your video's clickable factor. Here are some quick tips to keep in mind when making a thumbnail. People consume images from left to right, so keep the most important and interesting information on the left side. For instance, if the video is about how to increase sales, the most important aspect of the video is the content. So the left side should be the text and then the visual on the right. But if the video is showing off a new product, then the visual of the product should be on the left with the text on the right. Be sure to optimize for small screen experience. So use only one image and a couple of words. This will help mobile users to see and understand what your thumbnail is about. And this is important because we all know that video consumption is increasing on mobile devices. Faces are more clickable. Big, large faces to be exact, especially if those faces are showing some sort of emotion, like if they're angry or scared or shocked or even laughing. So if your video is about people, be sure to show them off in the thumbnail. Yeah, or you can create a mid-action visual. When people see something in action, it encourages, it encourages them to click. People have this innate feeling of wanting to know what happens. For instance, check out this thumbnail. Don't you want to click on it and see if he lands a water bottle? I do. And the answer is, yes. yes he does. Don't be afraid to use bright colors. They actually receive more clicks and stand out as you scroll through YouTube. So take advantage of this. Put your logo or branded content in the upper right or lower left corner. Research shows that people scan images in a Z pattern. This means that the upper left corner, my face basically, <laughs> is prime real estate, and you need to keep that reserved for your main message or image. So keep that in mind. And also, people don't want the first thing to see to be your logo or branded image. So keep them subtle and put them in the upper right or lower left corner. Lastly, keep it consistent. Choose a visual style that'll help viewers recognize your brand and content. That's it for these tips and tricks. Go out, start making some awesome thumbnails and watch your videos become more successful. As always, subscribe to stay up to speed on the latest and greatest video marketing tips. And comment below if you have any questions or topics you would like us to discuss. Until then, bye. bye.